Hello everybody, True Marvelous here, your 2 million G Gamer, welcome to another True Plays. Today I'm going to be looking at a new release, it comes out tomorrow, which is going to be the 6th of May, 2022, and it's Chefy Chef. It's uh, published by Rattleica Games and developed by Bug Studio. No pricing for it, unfortunately, so I don't know how much it's going to cost you, but um, usually right, like your games are 5 dollars 7 dollars some, something to that effect. They're, they're relatively inexpensive. And um, it's just like a, a, like a pixel platformer, which... Rattleika like to put out a lot of and they're usually all pretty solid to be fair There's confirmation of what I just said. I love Rattleika's uh, logo. It's so good Anyway, let's play. Uh, we can go into the wardrobe. We can <clears throat> Oh, you need you need burgers apparently all right, so you can't customize your character till you've played the game. Let's get on with it then. Let's have a look. Oh, I didn't check the achievements, did I? We'll check them when we get going. Okay, he speaks in pictures. I wonder if he's going to end up in Narnia. Lying the witch in the fridge. <clears throat> Jungle level one. There's his fridge. Okay. Let's have a look at the achievements. Find the knife for the first time. Find the pan for the first time. Find the hammer. Kill a frog for the first time, kill a monkey for the first time, kill a croco, collect 5 burgers, 10 burgers, 15 burgers, complete 5, 10, 15, 20 levels. Straightforward list, as you usually get with a rat like game. Uh, so we have uh, A's jump. Double jump is there as well, so double A. Uh, nothing else seems to do anything for the moment. I imagine when we get a knife though, the buttons at the top right will go into force. Go to which level is to find three ingredients for my favourite dish. Press A to jump. Press A twice to jump, double jump. There you go. We have secrets. Is that an ingredient? No, it's a log. One should be wary of spikes, they can cause harm. <clears throat> First ingredient is a head. There are two more to find. Pineapple. Milk. If tall glass and vines swing a lot, it means that a secret burger is hiding in them. Each level has a hidden secret burger. Will you help me find them all? By collecting secret burgers, you can unlock new colours for your uniform, clothes, hair, and the wardrobe. Okay. Secret burger found. This is the last ingredient on level. Pick it up and find the refrigerator to complete the level. Pineapple, milk, and what's that? Onion? Turnip, maybe? What's he making with that concoction? Don't know, but I want to eat it. Oh, we beat a level. Down, yeah, I thought I was gonna say that. That one's moving, but oh, it's moving because I passed it. It's this way. Hmm, gonna see what's to the right. 
Put ingredients to the right. Okay. So that one was moving way too fast. So he just reveals it and then it puts it elsewhere on the screen. So then you've got to go get it. So this was just to get the secret burger. So secret burgers to unlock the customization options for the chef. Um, not required for progression as such, but it's still there. Something to get in it if you want. If you want to represent the levels. Plus, we need a few of them for the achievements as well. Obviously, not encountered any enemies yet, but and a nice solid game so far. Beautiful pixel graphics. Music that's there but not doesn't get annoying. It controls well. It's a simple gameplay loop. Collect three ingredients and get out the level. Right, here's a frog. Right, can we can we jump on things? This is an experiment. No, we can't. Okay, so we need some kind of weapon. Oh dear. Okay. It didn't jump high enough. There's any way of replenishing health. It doesn't look like it so far. We've not found the burger, have we? Okay, can't see it on this screen. Can't see anything swaying on that screen, so it must be on the first screen. Way down here in the this. There we go. Apologies, the voice is a bit croaky as well. It's um, starting to go for some reason. I wonder when I'm going to get a knife then. Watch out for that moving vine. It is very easy to miss. Nothing there. It's gonna sink. No. We have a book. What's a book do?
Cookbook is perfect for checkpoints. Okay. Now that one on the roof is, um, is this like a, is moving really fast. So can they be on the roof? It's like a pitfall as well. Yeah. The old pitfall jumping on alligators. A lot easier than pitfall though. Some pitfall you had to just go on their eyes. And they couldn't get you. got the burger so we just have to get the ingredients now there's two of them Where the exit appears. <laughs> yep. Level 5, we should net its first achievement, I think, after we beat this level. Yeah. Any swinging vines? No. Okay, well, well we can't go up because that's too tall, isn't it? way down we have a knife that will be his first achievement first tool is the knife with the knife you can climb the wall using up or down you can also throw the knife at enemies press lb to throw your knife forward press lb and up to throw the knife up Admit, I didn't expect the knife to be used for climbing, but that, that's uh, quite clever. If we throw the knife, do we have to pick it back up again? Uh, no, it comes back. How many burgers did we have to find? So we've got 180 gamer score. What other achievement pop? Oh, for the frog. Yeah, silly me. Like five burgers, 10 burgers, and 15 burgers. 
Okay, why is that not popped then? Maybe we have to finish the level. how you release off walls you can't double jump it's like if i come off a wall you know you can you've got no control over it you literally just drop i think i can't release and then jump again that's gonna be where the exit is Let's just drop jump. Weird. Okay, so hopefully we should pop us uh, five burgers and five levels complete. Yep, there we go. Do we keep the knife? No, we don't. So you have to find your tools every time. Okay, well we found the burger, but we can't get it because we need a knife. Does the burger get hidden again? No, it doesn't. Can't go up there because we need the knife. And there is the knife. Okay. Oh. Horrible. Yeah, the only negative so far is how you release off walls. It is it's it's not nice. I wonder if his boss is. I think the exit's in this room. Yep, there we go. down first okay I'm assuming the exit's gonna be in this room oh no the burgers in this room oh and of course uh, how in the world am I supposed to
Yeah, I'm not sure how you're supposed to do that, because if you drop down, you're not going to have enough time, and if you just climb casually down, you're not going to have enough time to get to the jump zone. What a weird one, that. you jump away from the spikes without taking damage. <clears throat> so I'll let you hit spikes then. Throw a knife into a stone wall to break it. Oh, I forgot you could throw it up, can't you? It controls really well apart from the wall climbing. The wall climbing is good, Pine. It's just the release from the wall. It sucks. We haven't found the burger, have we? Find a burger. <laughs> It'll be in here, isn't it? Because we couldn't get here before. That was right at right at the start. See what I mean? It just launches itself when you get to the top of a climb. Why do that? Just um just get just climb up the damn wall. I want you to jump and go forward. I'd press jump and go forward, wouldn't I? It's the only negative I've got with this. I've also forgotten where the hell, where the hell the fridge is. There it is. Okay, I think that's eight levels, eight burgers. Okay, wait to the left, can't get up there at the moment. And a hammer. You tool hammer. With the hammer, you can jump high off the floor and kill enemies. During hammer strike, you can jump away from the spike. Press X to use the hammer.
I understand us losing the hammer when uh, sorry you're losing the um knife when we throw it but why do we lose the hammer when we use it It's going to be. Okay, nine levels, nine burgers. I wonder if we're gonna get a boss on level ten. Okay, so we can't go left because so we can't jump high enough and we can't smash the rock. Smash the rock. Um, so, oh, there's the knife. So, The first time we've had both or two tools to work with. <clears throat> now, my question is. break the walls no that's silly simply because a hammer is better suited to breaking a rock wall than a knife what's that It's going to be there. <laughs> no, the exit's now the burgers appeared there. with 10 levels and 10 burgers.
kill a croco for the first time. Oh, so can we hammer a crocodile maybe? We'll have to try that, won't we? Close and only wants into spikes. Um, oh, there's a monkey. Yay. Oh, it's garbage wall release, seriously. Terrible. Crocodiles. We'll, we'll try it next time we have the opportunity. Or it could be the third item that used on the crocodiles. Oh, well, there's the hammer. checkpoint let's go oh they're miles away aren't they was there a crocodile in this room no okay we'll leave it to another level there's gonna be opportunity to get it i think it's probably gonna take about an hour to complete in total isn't it so we're just about over halfway through Okay, so we can't go up for the moment. We can drop down. Let's do that. And we have a hammer. Let's go get that. We have flame traps. They're new. Is that we can just run straight through? Yeah, so next crocodile, we want to see if we can hit them. I forgot I don't have the knife. <laughs> right, here's a crocodile. There we go. And now we've stuck with the cells. I reckon this is the exit. Let's die. Let's see what happens. So back to the checkpoint and we're in the exact same state that we were in when we hit the checkpoint. We have no, um, no item.
Okay, so there's no need to go left. Until we're ready to leave. Okay, the knife is at the bottom there. You can break those as well with the hammer. Good to know. What's the pan gonna do then? Let us go on water, maybe? Looking for the burger. Hmm. That one's moving a lot, but that's probably because. The arrow's hitting it. There we go. Well, I thought this was the exit, but it's not, it's the burger. Over here, then. Yeah, there it is. Oop. Ooh, what is this? Okay, we have a blue button, a blue door. The exit or the burger is going to appear here. I don't think it's the burger because I can't see anything moving.
That means that's probably going to be the exit then where we said before. Final ingredient must be where that blue door opened. Oh no, so there, was, so there was nothing in that place. Bizarre, because there's obstacles preventing you from getting that side of the screen, wasn't there? So it's like, why? If there's no reason to go there. Very weird. Two more levels and we don't have to bother with the burger anymore. Okay, so we've got a yellow door and a red door this time. We can go up, we can go down. A knife. I really hate how this gets off the walls. Good job I saw that actually, otherwise we'd be going all the way around, wouldn't we? That leaves us going down. Moving lifts. Doing it again. Yellow button. There's a yellow door. Oop. And now we've got the hammer. And the red switch. There's the burger we got earlier on. <laughs> Fourteen levels done. It's actually left. Find the pan, click 15 burgers, 15 levels and 20 levels. Okay. So find the pan really and burger on this level and level 20. It's a shame we've not progressed off the jungle yet. I imagine we are going to have all the achievements before the jungle's done. I reckon the jungle's going to have 20 levels and then the achievements will be finished. It's always a shame. I always, I always say if, if I like you are watching this, I wish you wouldn't do an achievement list that only encompasses, encompasses a portion of your game. Always have one for completing the entire game. And you might be saying, well, you're an achievement hunter. Don't you like these easy games? Not personally, no. I like to be challenged. I have them easy, but you know, at least have one for beating the game. This to me just shows respect for the game. You know, yes, I've beaten the game. Give me an achievement for beating it. So 
so annoying you can't double jump off the wall. Just my personal opinion though, there's, uh, I'm probably in the minority. Jump at the peak, can we? No, we're gonna need the hammer for that. Which we don't have. So, back down we go. Uh, oh, the pan. Yes, we're gonna find out what this does. It's all frying pan. It's a frying pan. A frying pan has the magical properties of teleportation. Press RB to throw the pan forward. Press RB to throw the pan up. Press RB again while the frying pan is in the air to teleport to its place. Well, if you'd asked me to say what I think it would do, that would not have been anywhere on my list. A teleportation frying pan. Yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't have been in my hundred first guesses. Seriously. in this room our door mm. it's not very precise shall we shall we say that much I would say out of all the items you've given us, this frying pan is a questionable one. Okay, so we need to hit a blue switch before we... I mean, we can get the ingredient, but there's no point as that. We may as well wait. I'm guessing the exit appears there then, or a burger. Yeah, that plant's swaying. There's the burger. I think the mistake that's been made with the burger as well is that there's a separate screen literally set up for the burger on most occasions. So it kind of uh, makes finding it a lot easier, where if it was just hidden within the actual level, it would have been a lot more tricky. Um, oh, the blue button's down there. Blue button is down there as well. Yeah, this this frying pan is. Um, Rubbish. You also can't throw the frying pan off a wall either. The problem I've got here now is you want me to. How, how do I get across there? Maybe I can. Yeah, I've got to do that. That's so stupid. 
and the problem could have just been solved by letting me bloody double jump um, off a wall or let me single jump off a wall Okay, there should be 15 levels and 15 burgers. And I think all we have left now is to reach level 20. Complete level 20. Five more levels, guys. Uh, we'll probably just go over the hour, won't we? Okay, can't go that way yet. The only option. Frog can't get that ingredient yet. There's a knife. Bloody monkey. That's swaying. No. Actually, we don't actually need the burgers anymore, but you know, we, we still will. I start now. Hmm, no chance. Not with just a knife. Maybe the, um, maybe there's no more burgers, maybe 15 is, is it, possibly, I don't know. Right, let's try this. There we go. So we've got all three tools. Forgot the water edge was there because the message came up. Awesome. Just a reminder, this is out Friday, no price as of yet. By the time this video goes live, I think uh, it will be out. It's a nice, pleasant platforming game. Only Niggles is... The wall climb is fine, but the release from the wall climbs is a bit chunky. Um, Whenever you climb to the top, you do a jump forward, which is annoying. And also when you release from a wall by jumping off of it, you have not got a jump. The character can double jump, so surely you at very least should have one jump available to you. But the game says no, you don't.
Ooh, we have a spiky wall. That's new. Can't get through this thorny thicket, but I'm sure that the frying pan will fly through it with ease. Yeah, of, again, of all the tools we have available, I would have thought the knife would have been more suitable for that. Not a freaking frying pan. How does a frying pan help me? I, uh... We can, uh, we can brute force his way through. Supposed to, supposed to be, uh, uh, supposed to use the, um, frying pan there, aren't we? We'll just tank the damage, though. Just gotta get to a checkpoint now. We're out taking another hit. And we took another hit. <laughs> First legit death there. Okay, we'll uh, we'll do it properly. Uh, where was the hammer? The hammer was over here, wasn't it? Oh, I didn't activate it, did I? What a dummy. Oh. Yep, my amazing teleportation frying pan can go through a fine wall because reasons. Okay, so now that door has opened up. Yeah, hasn't it? Uh, did I go this way as well? I can't remember. Yeah, I did. I think. I'm going this way anyway. Definitely a shonky ability it is. <laughs> Exit. Oh, that's convenient. Lovely. Okay, can't go right, can't go up, we can go down, we can go left. Let's try left. Knife. Enables us to go up now, but we'll go down to start off with. Oh, we can't go down.
frying pan. Before I go that way, because that's the checkpoint, we're going to go down here and through this wall. Hmm. Burger, probably. Yeah, there we go. Got it. Okay, level 19, here we come. Now the lifts are activated by switches, that is a yellow switch, so we ain't going that way. Right down. I uh, need a blue switch to go right there, I need a frying pan to go that way. So out of the three choices I had, the first two I picked were wrong. It's about right for my choices there. Always pick the wrong one. Okay, there's the yellow switch. We can just get it without having a tool, so that's fine. Okay, we need the frying pan. That was over here, wasn't it? Yeah, the lift is now working. Go down first. Blue switch. Sometimes it don't teleport. You're supposed to press right button again to warp to where the pan is, and it don't work sometimes. <laughs> okay, we're gonna ignore the checkpoint for the moment. Those checkpoints normally mean 
That's the way to the exit, don't they? Where's where's what's this leading to? Ah, oh, I see. Burger. Excellent. Whoop. The frying pan doesn't fire straight up when you push up, it goes at a little angle. Okay, so this is the last level we have to do for the achievements. I very much doubt it's going to be the last level of the game, but it's the last level I'm going to be playing. Um, because we definitely have played enough of this for the moment, and we definitely have enough to form an opinion of the game. I'll give you that while we do the last level. I mean, I like it. It's a solid game. This for me is Rattalikas bread and butter. A um, side-scrolling platformer pixel game. They do really well. You've got a nice little charming character there. The level design's fun to navigate. Very simple premise for that. You jumped over my knife, you son of a bitch. The premise is very simple. Uh, question the frying pan, though. And also question why the knife is the tool that can... Um, break walls down when you have a hammer available to you. That is... that is weird. But nevertheless, they've all got a use to tools. They've all got a purpose. Uh, so the frame pan is a little questionable. It's a very weird... ability to have for a frame pan. Uh, but it's fun to play. And that's the main thing. <sighs> you see, there's the problem. And there's the criticism. I gotta do the whole thing again. Amazing. The wall jumping. Because I... Because I had grabbed all of that wall, it changed everything. It prevented me from getting there. It prevented me from jumping away from danger. You should at least have a single jump when you release from the wall. You've got to have. And also, when this, when you climb up top, top of the wall, it shouldn't shouldn't do that. It should just climb up and stand still. And that's the only fault I've got with the game. It's not a major... Well, it is, it is quite a fundamental point, but it's not spoiling the game for me. It, I mean, it's costing me a few hits here and there, and then costing me a, a restart of the level there, because we 
clung on to that little bit of bloody roof, which I didn't even realise was there. See, look at that. You jump forward again. You can you can double jump after every other ability under the sun, but it's done it again. It's done it again, so I'm gonna take damage here. I think unless I use my hammer, I use my hammer really fast. There you go. We're alive. I don't have a frying pan. Okay, where's the frying pan? Oh god, this is so frustrating, this wall jump. No, you piece of... Oh my god. Again, the wall jump has cost me that, and I have to do everything again. <sighs> Man, yeah. The wall jump... The, the wall mechanics just suck. They're an annoyance rather than a complete spoiler of the game. All you gotta do is when you release from a wall, you have a jump to use in the air when you release. That's all it needs. I just noticed the, the burger's gonna appear there, isn't it? You see, the problem you have is, you see, when a player is feels they're dying because of the uh, uh, like the way the game controls, rather than it being their own fault, and um, ain't good. because I made a mistake, not because the game does odd things. So anyway, back to the level. But I can I can recommend this. I don't know what the price is going to be, but it's going to be around five ninety nine to eight ninety nine. I would imagine it's going to be. There's the pan. We didn't get the burger, did we, on this level? Never mind. And there is the completion in terms of achievements. I imagine now we're going to go into another world. I'm guessing desert. Let me guess desert. Let me guess desert. Oh, ice. <laughs> See, you've got all these other creatures now available to you. I don't know what that was. Moose, a ram, or whatever. Pretty slippery here, yeah. Why is there achievements like for killing those creatures and stuff? You know, I'm an achievement owner, right? I have the um, is it eighth, ninth, I can't remember, eighth or ninth highest game score in the world, right? Give me harder achievements. Your games. Jeez. Or at least, if you want to do what you're doing, at least put one achievement in for beating the entire game. 
or maybe one for beating each world. Beat all the levels of the ice, beat all the levels of the jungle world, beat all the levels of the ice world. Beat all the levels of the fire world, the desert world, the forest world, you know, any world that you've got there. Do that. Make people play the game to its fullest. The game deserves that. If I'd coded this, I would want people to play the game to its completion. Yeah, there's nothing stopping you carry on playing, but it's nice just to have that little extra incentive there for getting the achievements as you progress. I mean, back on uh, the Xbox 360 generation when achievements first came out, it was unheard of that you'd um, that you'd have a game that you could get, you know get all the achievements in but not beat the game. You always have to beat the game. I, I, there's, there's probably a few exceptions, granted, but you know, as a rule, you had to beat the game, and that's what I'd like to see going forward from that. Like the games, because there's tons of these platformers like this, and you only have to complete maybe two, three levels, or something, and varying in length from half an hour to an hour. Um, but yeah, anyway. That's my thoughts. I definitely can recommend this game. Uh, I've, we've played through the entire first world and the first level of the second world. It looks to be more of the same. I'm guessing there's going to be... I think I need my hammer for this. Oh, so we've got downward passages now that we do need to hammer a break. So there is going to be other new tools for the... Another new obstacles for the tools to work with. Which is good. Let's just go back to the, uh, to the store page. That's if it's listed in the store. I just want to see how many levels it mentions it having. Because we had 20 levels in that first world. Uh, don't worry about it saying not currently available. That's because it's, it's an early copy. So 60 levels. So there's going to be three worlds then. But 60 levels in three mysterious worlds, interesting levels in the style of mini Metroidvania. It's not Metroidvania. Use cooking tools that will unlock superpowers for you. Collect secret burgers to unlock new clothes in the wardrobe. Yeah, that that, that second point is probably misleading and, and put, put in there to garner a few extra sales because people think, oh, Metroidvania. And they'll buy it because they like Metroidvania games. Uh, that's the that looks like the third level there. Some kind of rocky mountain level. There's the ice level. Oh, we still we still seem to have monkeys throwing ice balls at us though. That's a shame. I've never seen a monkey in an ice level before. Um, no creatures on there. Any creatures in this one? Yeah, we have like a. I don't know what that is, but uh, I guess that's pretty much the same as the frog, and it probably charges that you're looking at that type of enemy. Just guessing, just speculating there. But yeah, solid game. I like it a lot. Anyway, that was Chefy Chef. Comes out on the uh, 6th, is it the 5th today? Comes out on the yeah 6th of May. Don't have pricing as of yet. Comes out on... Um, Xbox and Switch, at least, I believe. May already be out on Switch, but it's good. Good, solid pixel platformer. Fun. Family-friendly. Uh, decent stuff. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Remember to hit the like button, leave a comment if you've got any questions, and most importantly, hit that subscribe button. Catch you on the next one. Bye for now.